Hi guys, welcome to this session on Office 365. In this module I want to show you how you can create a group. So I'm on the start page of my Office 365 account and I want to go to the options at the top here to get into admin. Now there's many many areas that you can use to create groups in Office 365 but I think going into admin and then selecting this option teams and groups is probably the easiest and quickest way to do it so let's go for this option active teams and groups and you can see all the groups that you've got there that are already preloaded some of them with the team symbol as well now to create a group you click on add group and then you've got four options and you've got this little flow chart basically showing you what you're going to be doing so I want to pick this top option and you can also create a Microsoft team as well so just follow the wizard through next now I'm going to give it a name this group is going to be called marketing 2021 and sales ideas is what it's going to be about next so now I need to add some owners so I'll assign um, Alana and myself as owners to the owners next now I need to add the team members or the group members so one two three four five oops and myself six those are the team members and then I go next now email I'm going to call it marketing and it's checking whether that's available or not and it is and you've got the option there of having this of public or private I'll leave it on public a little information there tells you what each of those means so you you might might want to put it onto private it's totally up to you and then click and you notice this is ticked so if you don't want it to create a team because you want to do that manually say you can untick this but I'm going to leave this ticked and then go next and then it gives you a review of all the things that you've selected and an option to go back if you've made a mistake and you need to change anything it looks okay to me so I'll create the group so it now adds the group and it will also add a team so I don't want to I don't want to do another one so I will close this close and then marketing should appear in this list with all the rest and there it goes now if I go up to Outlook let's have a look in Outlook what you've got in Outlook is that group should appear so down the bottom here you've got groups and you can see it's not there at the moment but if I click on manage groups and then you've got um, all groups there and you can see marketing appearing in that list and there's the members and you've got the email remember the email for them is marketing at it's easy .uk. now if you go into teams if I go back and open teams that should have create that process should have created a team so this is my teams and I am in that team and there's marketing 2021 it's already created it for me and if I go into manage team it's got the owners and the members already selected so this is a quicker way if you if you think about it you're killing two birds with one stone you're creating a group with your team members in and if you have that um, teams tick on you don't have to go through the process of add members in in this because they're already there as you can see so hopefully creating a group is something you were interested in I hope it's been of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.